Well, this is my completed piece as of today. It is called Unlocking Creativity. Um, as an assemblage artist, you end up having a lot of unique and unusual items typically in your stash, your art stash. So I wanted to talk to you today about this and how I came up with this idea. I wanted to make sure that I use this violin very creatively and I wanted to be able to communicate change, transition. I didn't want to adhere anything to the outside of the violin because I felt like that didn't do the violin or my art piece justice. Some of the things that I use a lot of as far as tools and working with is a Dremel tool. So I used a Dremel tool and a woodcutter to cut out the, um, cut out this part of the violin. I added the zipper afterwards and I have mounted everything inside where it uh, does not come out. The, um, these pieces here are actually vintage brooches and I wanted to make sure that they gave the illusion of flying out and up. So I mounted them to a spring. These also are from clock, they're clock springs. They're large and I have them mounted with the screw. Um, this part of the, this part of the violin comes from um, a rubber stamp and embossing powder. And then these three swallows were from, they were wall hangings from the 1970s. They're plastic. They were kind of hideous, but I painted them black and then accented them with gold. One of the neat things I did was I cut open the violin and added the uh, swallow coming out of the violin. And then I mounted this swallow so that it, that it would move a little bit um, to be further away from the violin itself on a clothes hanger wire. One of the things that I love about assemblage work is it's problem solving. So I had to figure out how in the world I was going to get that to stay where it didn't slip out and I lose it somehow. One of the other things, tools that I use all the time actually is my phone. I take numerous different pictures of different layouts. Layout is one of the challenging things for me and I have to make sure that I feel, you know, inside that it, it it's perfect. And so originally this piece was going to be in a box, um, set up different, of course. And then I have two friends that are very artistic who I call and I bounce ideas off of. And so we made a, a decision that this would be better outside. However, we didn't, you know, I had no clue it was going to uh, be created to look like this. I'm very pleased with it. It'll be at my summer show at the Country Club and also at the Flower Nook this September.